Hello and welcome to another Technical Services Window tutorial. In today's video, we will be going over how to use the EQ effect and some basic EQing in Pro Tools. After you have opened Pro Tools and chosen your voice track that you're going to mix, go over to the Mix window. At the top of the first column, you will see inserts A through E. Click underneath it and go to Plugin, EQ, and then EQ, 3, 7, Band, Mono. Once you have selected the effect, a new window will appear that has the equalizer and its different dials. You have the high pass filter, the low pass filter, low frequency, low mid frequency, mid frequency, high mid frequency, and high frequency dials. Each of these are represented by the matching colored bands on the white band on the graph. You can turn any of the bands on or off by clicking the blue circle that says in. There are three dials under each colored band. The frequency dial moves the band left or right and controls which frequencies will be filtered. The gain dial determines how loud the effect will be. The Q dial will make the slope on the band sharp or soft, affecting more or less frequencies. Now here are some basics in EQing vocals. A good starting point is to turn on your high pass filter and put the Q dial all the way up to 24 dB. Slowly move the frequency dial to the right and you will see the band start to cut off the lower frequencies. Aim to have the effect around 75 Hz. This will help eliminate any background noise or white noise in your vocal recording. Now using the colored bands, you can manipulate and craft how you want your vocal recording to sound. To add clarity to the voice, use the low mid filter. For a male, aim between 180 and 240. For a female, aim between 200 and 300. To add warmth and fullness, use the low or low mid filters and set it between 100 and 150. You can bring the gain down on the same bands to remove any sound from a small room. For lyric clarity, use the low mid or mid filters and bring the band between 800 Hz and 1K. If the voice has a nasal tone to it, you can adjust it by using the mid or high mid filters and put it between 800 to 1K. To open up the voice and add more richness to it, use the high mid filter and set it between 3K and 6K. To remove any harshness from natural speech or audio editing in the voice, use the high filter and aim between 2.5K and 4K. To brighten the tone of the voice, put the high filter between 9K and 11K. The perfect vocal EQ mix is all up to you. Play around with the equalizer and hear what is the best fit for your project. And that is a basic overview of the EQ effect and how to use it in Pro Tools. If you have any questions or need some assistance, stop by the technical services window and the staff will be happy to help you.